Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's a super exciting day because Skylar is joining me in the kitchen today. If you don't know Skylar, he was on the channel earlier this year when we did the Oreo challenge with our friend Stephanie. Today we will be making these shortbread swirls. These are super soft and delicate. We bake them up and then we fill them with jam. I'm excited to bake my first thing because really this is my first time I've ever baked. Ooh. So today's recipe is actually perfect for a beginner baker or someone who hasn't baked ever. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be reminded of whenever I post a new video. And without further ado, let's look at our ingredients. For this shortbread cookie recipe, you will need one cup of all-purpose flour, one stick of unsalted butter that is room temperature, one tablespoon of milk, two tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and some jam. And some powdered sugar for dusting the cookies when they are done baking. You will also be needing a disposable piping bag fitted with a star tip. So the first step in making our cookies is combining our butter and sugar. So you're first gonna add the butter, if it comes out, <laughs> and your sugar. Have you ever used one of these before? I haven't. So this is an electric mixer. It makes mixing things together super simple and easy. So it's a great investment to have in the kitchen, especially if you're a beginner baker. But you're gonna be blending the sugar and the butter together in the bowl. So once your butter and sugar are well combined and they look just like that, then you can start adding your flour in half a cup at a time. So you just want to add the flour, and I'm gonna have you mix while I add the flour. So starting off at a low speed, just incorporate half a flour. Mix that through with your butter and sugar, and then continue beating the rest of it in. At this point, your dough will be very crumbly, so it is the perfect time to add in your vanilla extract and your milk. So you're gonna first add the vanilla extract, and then you're gonna add a tablespoon of milk. And then you'll just mix it up and your dough should form. So at this point, our cookie dough is crumbly and it is complete. So what do you think of the recipe? It's fairly easy. I mean, if I can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so the next part is probably the most difficult part out of the whole process. We're gonna use a disposable piping bag like this one that's fitted with a star tip. And we're basically going to fill this with our cookie dough so that we can shape it into the cupcake mold. A super simple way of filling your disposable piping bags is by placing it into your cup. And then you sort of want to just wrap it around your cup. And then it makes it super simple to fill your cookie dough in. And once you have it wrapped around your cup, you can just grab a big handful of your cookie dough and just place it right into your piping bag. Once you have all of your dough inside your piping bag, then you can just push it down all the way down to your piping bag and it's ready to pipe into these swirls. Now we're gonna place our cupcake liners. We just have some plain white ones here. And we're gonna place between 10 and 12 of the liners into our cupcake pan because this recipe makes about 10 to 12 cookies. All right, so the cupcake liners are ready. Are you ready to pipe them? Yeah. Okay, so I will show you the first time and then you'll be on your own for the next time, okay? Okay, awesome. So you first want to start in the middle, then just work your way around the cupcake liner. And then you are all done. You want to try one now? Not bad for your first one. All right, so here's one of the ones that Skylar made. He actually did really good for his first try. So this does take a little bit of practice, but once you keep practicing, then you'll become a pro just like him. So our oven is preheated at 375 degrees and these are going to bake for about 10 to 12 minutes. This dessert is actually one of the very first desserts I've ever made back when I first started baking years and years ago. What was your least favorite part? <laughs> the piping. The piping. <laughs> so now that our cookies have come out of the oven and they're nice and golden brown, we let them cool off for about 10 to 15 minutes and now 
and it's time to assemble our cookie. We placed our raspberry jam into a piping bag fitted with a circle tip. You can literally just use a Ziploc bag and cut a little corner off as well. You can use whatever flavored jam you'd like. I really like raspberry, so we chose that one. So all you want to do is literally pour a little bit of jam into the center, and that's it. So I did one of these and Skylar did the rest of them and I think he did an awesome job. So now the last step is to decorate with a little bit of powdered sugar. So all you want to do, pour some powdered sugar on top and just dust your cookies with powdered sugar. You want to try it? So I'll put the powdered sugar in for you and you can just tap the sifter. The last step is to peel off the cupcake wrappers from each of your cookies and place it on your platter. So our cookies are all finished. What did you think of the recipe overall in terms of simplicity for a beginner baker? It was very simple for a beginner baker. Yeah, right? Yeah. Would you try this one on your own next time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us once again on the channel. If you enjoyed the recipe, make sure to give a big old thumbs up and to hit the subscribe and notification bell if you enjoyed the video. And as always, remember to keep things simple, yet elegant, and we will see you on the next episode. And now for the moment of truth, we're trying these cookies. Mm -hmm. It's super soft. It sort of melts in your mouth almost, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like this would go really well with coffee or milk. Mm -hmm. Well, see you next time. <laughs>